Hey everybody, run this 342 here and I'm bringing you another Warframe video. This time it's update 17. Bring you the new Warframe here, Equinox and her also his his hers new weapons as well as the new melee weapon. Um, as you can see in the video doing a few excavations missions and what I meant with him and her is because this Warframe is actually by gender. In the white form, which is your day form, it's a male, and at your night form, it's a female. No joke, that's how it is. This might be my favorite Warframe of all time, because this Warframe feels like a freaking superhero. Feels like I'm playing some kind of Japanese Power Ranger. No lie. <laughs> With the horns in the top splitting depending on which side you're on, to his majestic stance, and that awesome, awesome cape. I'm in love with this Warframe. Um, in the current videos you're seeing some gameplay footage, um, I don't know why, but I feel like I've been doing most of the work. Most of the people I've been in with either don't know what they're doing, or it's a poor low level that got himself stuck into an excavation that's kind of endless. <laughs> but I usually go up to 1000 so I don't do it endless, but it's just a good habit since I got that habit from Omega Silex. You should totally check out his channel, there'll be a link to the description below to Omega Silex's channel. Um, but yeah, this is the new stuff, the new Warframe, the new parkour is incredible. Your, your jumps to your to your uh, run dashes are, it's, it's just beautiful. I can now actually reach places that I had to do really long trick uh, spins to reach just by simply doing parkour. I don't have to do those flips anymore to get to a certain location. I could just get on the wall and hop all the way up or hop to the sides. Also, I could do the little double jump, which is also a lot of fun. And when I'm in the air, I could aim and slow down my def my descent, and I it's and it will appear like I'm gliding. This update is so far the best update I've ever played in Warframe. <laughs> nothing so far can compare to this. Melee 2.0 has nothing on this. This thing is, oh my god, this is amazing. Just simply amazing. <laughs> I'm admiring my own footage right now. I can't wait to get back on and play it. Um, but it's a lot of fun for you PS4 and Xbox One players. Once you get this update, you're going to fall in love with Warframe. My gosh, the caves are wonderful. Everything's wonderful. Even Tile Regor's boss battle is amazing. Only thing I problem is that they did add... Um, Shark wing, which is using your arc wing underwater. I'm not a big fan of arc wing, and with the water one, I'm not much of a fan of it at all. Maybe just the scenery because it's beautiful, but actual gameplay of it, I just don't feel it. I don't like it. I don't. Um, it's more of a hassle, especially when it comes down to fighting Tal Regor. Um, there's a there's a there's a a thing. I don't want to say mechanic, but there's a thing that. Um, if you get hit, you get hit, put, get hit by a geyser of water that like just comes out of the wall, and you were pushed into the water again, um, and you you instantly go into arc wing when you're in the water. Um, the big problem is I float upwards, but I can't get out. It feels like I'm in a wall, like an invisible wall. If they could somehow make it so we could get out of the water with your arc wing still attached, and then when you you know hit land, your arc wing is you know disengaged. That would be great, but right now, it's the fact that I can't get out of my arc wing unless I'm at the corner of where I could get out of the water is really lame because I can't get out, and while I'm stuck in that boss battle in the water, I'm getting killed because the water is electrified. It's really annoying, so I really, really am not enjoying the shark wing portion of Tao Regor's boss battle. I don't like it at all. It's cool, but the fact that I'm stuck and I'm getting killed is a pain in the butt. Another thing is, um, like I said, if they could make it, if DE could make it so that I could just fly out with the arc wing and then land and it's automatically disengaged, that would be great. I would like it. But so far, that's not the thing. And the, and the update just came out, so maybe that might happen. But probably not, because um, it sounds like a lot of work. But um, everything else about the update's great. I've been playing the heck out of it. Um, I'm going to level up all these new weapons. And uh, I am also might get start doing my Kubro. You know, start 
leveling up my Kubro again because I really never liked Kubros because it felt like a huge res responsibility. And I own five dogs in real life, so I don't want no more of that. But the fact that I saw them with armor on might convince me to go back. But if I have to purchase the armor with platinum, I won't go back. It's that simple. Another another flaw that we noticed when we were doing Tal Rego's boss battle is that my friend Omega Silex he had a Kubro, and every time he went underwater, the Kubro died. So it, it seems that the Kubros can't swim, or there's no oxygen for them, and they die instantly. So that's a problem. Kubro problem. But since I don't use Kubros, I don't care, but it's a problem for everyone who uses Kubro, so I should care. Um, but yeah, this is update 17. Uh, more gameplay footage will be released, of course, uh, for you PS4 and Xbox One players. I'm definitely going to release it so you guys can see it. And you guys, when you'll get used to what to expect, then you'll probably enjoy it. But uh, the new weapon called the Harpack, which I have on my character, um, it feels like a Needler from Halo, except that it's a three-round burst. Uh, I'm still leveling up. Once it's fully level, I'll do a review on it. Why not? It looks cool. I'll do a review on that weapon, as well as the other weapons I use. But my main weapon of all time is the Dread, which is my main hand weapon. And the Vacor, Vacor Marlock, which is my secondary, by all means. And my primary melee will always be the Dacra Prime at the moment. So, yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I uh, will continue to be playing this, leveling up the weapons, and then doing a review, a review on it. <laughs> and, yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Catch you later.